All right, this is my current daily. A lot of you all know it already because we did six episodes, we did a budget build on it. Basically the story behind this, I crashed my old daily. I was looking for another one. This came up, 1300 quid, and it was a bit ratty. Had loads of issues and it looked terrible. So we spent six episodes, a couple of months, fixed it up, made it look pretty smart. Also, this car, this magnificent car has just hit 200,000 miles. Still runs mint as ever. So I thought I'd do a little, little build series, 10 minutes. I normally think these videos are kind of lame, but this car isn't lame. And you guys have been asking for more videos on it. There's nothing else to do because it's finished. So two liter TDI sat build in 10 minutes. Let's go. There it is then. <laughs> so it is a B6 Passat. It's a two liter TDI, it's the High Line. So it's got like all the fancy stuff. It is quite ratty. Uh, it needs a bit of love, but the reason I got this one is because mechanically it's sound. It's got full service history, engine runs sweet. This car cost me 1,350 pounds. The best thing about this car is a DSG. She's an automatic. It's got heated seats. It's got double cup holders. It's got cruise control. The panels are pretty straight. It's just got like, like that, which could be polished out. That probably needs respraying. Uh, Cause yeah, that's just been through some abuse. It also has this other issue where if you turn left, the whole car shakes like mad. No idea what that is. I think it's to do with the bushings. Ordered coilovers, got wheels, the Audi A3 wheels. Tied it up a bit, see if I can make it look mint. And yeah, it's basically the perfect daily. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It's all very like overwhelming. I feel like Picasso with an empty palette, like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm using a blade to get this shit off. I don't even care. <laughs> is it working? Oh yeah. We've got the left-hand turn issue. Oh my god! Oh my god! We've got the door handle that doesn't work. The windows that don't work. We're gonna sort them out. I've got service to do as well, um, and just we're gonna get everything fixed. We think we found the uh, the left-hand wobble turn issue, haven't we? Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, that's loads. It's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> then, oh my god! Jesus. Yeah. There you go. Right. New part. Yeah, no wobble. No wobble at all. <laughs> Mint. Car can turn left again. So that's that sorted. Let's go back to the unit and fix this door handle and whole door situation. I have no door, skin, door handle, nothing. What I needed was this. My windows weren't going up, so I got a new motor, and the switches weren't working, so I have a new uh, switch. Done. Doors back together. Handle works. That does the window up and down. That's pretty much every problem sorted with the car. All right, just a quick one. Before you buy any car, you should get it checked out just so you know what you're buying. You can use Car Vertical to do this. I used Car Vertical on the Passat before I bought it just to get a report done. Came back mint. Um, this is the report. No mileage fraud. It's never been stolen and it hasn't been in a serious accident. There's no outstanding finance or anything like that. So. I knew it was good to go, I can buy it. 
but here is an example of a bad report. This one series, <laughs> no issues with miles, theft, or outstanding finance, but it's been in an accident. You can see on the photos from 2017, front end damage, airbags have gone off, and pretty much every panel has been whacked. So there's even some mud in there. Nice. Another scenario is if you get a report back and there's something on the report that you don't like, but it's not a deal breaker, such as like mileage clock back or something like that. You can use that, negotiate a cheaper price with the seller, and then you'll save some money. So it's a win-win, definitely worth getting the report done. If you want to get a report and get your car checked out, there's a link in the description or in my pinned comment. That will get you 10% off. If you or your mates are going to go buy a car, check it out with Car Vertical, and then you'll be happy. Or not, if you find a really bad car. But if you do, you can walk away. Thanks to Car Vertical for sponsoring this video. Roll on with the build. I got one of these. AliExpress. Oh, look at that. RCD 360 Pro. Just shipping Corona over here daily. You got the manual for the torque spec on these. <laughs> Actually, get the Dugger Dugger gun out. Oh, it's 180, I heard. Well, it's 310. <laughs> It'd be in the fucking engine bay. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your radio gun now? I could be Dugger it straight through the bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> He's on one. I've now got sat nav. Cheers. Easy. Next thing, this. You can piss off Jeff White, I know who you are. Freshies, they're gonna go on. Also, I got a rear wiper. Fresh service. Spunky. Ugh. Is that the old one? Oh, yeah, lovely. One okay. <laughs> Drink around. Thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> That looks right spunky, that one. Spunky nuts. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Cut them in half. Here's the piss wrap. Here's the coilovers. And I got the new wheels over there. So we're going to fit them as well. Strap bolt. Front strut done. Right, rear done. Stoked. Get them on. Hello. So I was just driving to work and the engine lights come on, the coil lights come on, and the car has just lost all power. Coil lights flashing, engine management light is on. Uh, and the car is in limp mode. I'm gonna go back to work, get this plugged in, and we'll find out what that is. Oh, it's the EGR valve. Just rang Dan to see if he uh, had much experience with the EGRs, and he has, and he literally said, the dude next door to him, they literally just got the kit for EGR deletes. And he said, whilst we're doing that, we might as well stage one map it, so, we're going for mapping. So it goes from 140 to 180. So that's the interface. Stage one EGR. Bam. So now that's put in the new file. That's on. put in the new file, yeah. <laughs> well, there's no light. That's a good start, isn't it? That's a good start, yeah. I'm just going to take it down the road and just see what difference is, but there's no limp mode, there's no fault code. 140 brake to 180 brake. That's quite a big difference. See what this feels like then. Oh my god, yeah, that is way quicker. Holy shit. <laughs> this is an R line front bumper. It's so on the normal one, you've got that black piece there. 
And then on these, you've got like an extended silver one. I've also got the eyeline skirts. That's black. These are silver. Oh, there we go. That was it the whole time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> R-line front bumper and side skirts, and we've got a remap and the EGR delete. I'm super stoked on it. It kind of looks like a lot more beefy now. Now we got that, so what I'm going to try and do is fill that, paint this whole thing black, and then I've got some silver vinyl upstairs and I can make a VW thing. That looks sick. So I'm trying to replicate that. Got the vector file. sick. This is a before with the uh, anthracite wheels and this is after with the silver. We put the R-line front on and we put the R-line sides on but I never had an R-line rear. I got the lip. I got the extension. Basically that's gonna go and replace this black bit. Separated. Sick. More packages. <laughs> Fifteen mil. Right on. Done. Yeah, it's way better. Your bags as well? Yeah. Bang it! I take it back, you're not shabby, I'm sorry. Done. That's everything I wanted to do. So when are you getting the new one? Well, I crashed this one. Alright, there it is. I hope you enjoyed it. My uh, 2 litre TDI Passat daily build budget, which cost me sub three grand. All in, with all the fixes, all the cosmetic stuff. Since we filmed that, I think that was about a year and a half ago, I've done like 20, 30,000 miles. Still runs sweet. It's the best daily ever. It's the best daily I've ever had. And because it's cheap, you don't care if you get dinged up or scratched or, you know, abuse it, which I do. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty stoked. Hope you like it. Drop a comment down below. Also, don't forget, if you want to check out your car's history or the one you're about to buy, then use Car Vertical. There's a link in my description down there or in the pinned comment. That'll get you 10% off. Thanks for watching. It's really sunny and hot out here, so I'm going to go. I will see you next week, whatever that video is. Thank you for watching. See you later.